after a fantastic first home win for Norbert Kish. He needed to try and get the job done in the final race of the weekend. Teo Calve would start on pole position alongside Steffi Halm, but with Shane Brayton and Jochen Hahn behind, they had a lot of work to do in holding them back. But a great start by Norbert Kish would see him go around the outside of a number of trucks into turn one and gain a couple of all important positions in his big charge through to the front of the pack. Steffi Halm and Teo Calve would remain side by side all the way up to turn two where Steffi would take the lead. Teo Calve would then have to embark on a real defensive mission over the course of the rest of the race. But it wouldn't be long before Norbert Kish would go down the inside and up into fourth place. Calve would then have to focus on everybody else behind him, including Hahn, Albertetti, and of course this man, Sasha Lenz. But Kish got through very quickly on Shane Brayton up into third and would soon go chasing down the leaders, Halm and Lachko. And it wouldn't be too long before he got past the latter. Lachko overtaken into turn one, with Kish getting a great run out of the first corner to then be ahead before they even got to turn two. He was on a real charge through the pack, aiming to get that second win of the day in front of his home crowd. And it would only be one lap later where he would take the lead. Steffi Halm had been getting the cheers of the crowd all day, but their home man would be the one to cheer for now he got into the lead. Lachko was trying everything as well to go with him to make sure he wasn't in third place for the third time this weekend. And soon, himself and Steffi Harm would have an epic battle to always remember. Lachko really threw everything at Steffi Harm in the IV coat, but she would hold on very, very strongly indeed. A bit of contact did not go amiss though, but she said it's just part of motorsport and she thoroughly enjoyed the fight with the Czech driver. Once again this weekend, proving that these trucks are very, very sturdy, despite the bodywork that comes off. But Norbert Kish was absolutely over the moon, and so were the fans as he took his second win of the day from Steffi Halm, Adam Latchko, Shane Brayton won the Goodyear Cup for the second time today. Jochen Hahn and Sasha Lenz rounded out a very, very strong top six. But Kish was just as pleased as all of his fans that were watching, and he wanted to make sure that he celebrated his race win in the best way possible. Donuts are plenty for your double race winner today. It's a good thing those uh, good years didn't need to do another race after this one. But a very, very well-deserved win after taking pole position in Super Bowl winning the first race from the front and then coming through from eighth on the grid to take the second one of the weekend. Norbert Kish was very pleased to be able to celebrate with his team and his fans after what was a very difficult day yesterday. So there's your result then. Kish from Harm and Lachko, Brayton, Hahn and Lenz. Theo Calve ended up seventh ahead of Kurzim, Albertetti and Stefan Fass, who rounded out the top 10 in his Scania after a very, very tough fight in the mid-pack. There were so many of them very close together all the way through. Rene Reiner, Elia Koloc, and of course Henrik Clemens Hecker at the back of the field there. But that was all from the Hungara Ring. Three phenomenal races, one that got cancelled, and we'll hopefully see you all again soon at the Nürburgring in the middle of July.